So now moving on to item seven, the Fendleton Waimari Harewood Community Board report to Council, and we've got Aaron Campbell here with us this morning. So Aaron, thank you for joining us. Good morning and welcome to the table. It's been 18 months since I came um, as a community board member, and I haven't formally introduced myself. So um, recently, there was um, recently David Carwright, the chair of the Fendleton uh, Waimari Harewood, uh, stepped back from his position, and we've uh, re-elected, well, we've elected um, deputy chair Sam McDonald as chairperson, and myself as deputy chair. So I thought it was kind of the opportunity to uh, introduce myself um, formally. Um, so thank you for listening to that. Um, so, for our uh, board report this month, I'd just like to highlight some points there. Um, so, on slide two, there. Thank you, Matt. Um, the weed issues in the groins um, has been raised with the board, uh, particularly in relation to the Tanka Kid fishing event usually held in October. Um, staff have responded to a board request to investigate removal options, um, and these include a chemical um, uh, control um, of the weed. Um, and that's planned for the upcoming spring and summer um, season uh, once the uh, wheat is starting, starting to regrow. Um, obviously the, the weed throughout um, our city has had a good season this year with the warmer temperatures and you know, high nutrient content of water. Um, fishing can't take place for six weeks following any chemical control, um, which will mean that the Tanky Kid fishing event will need to be postponed um, possibly late November, early December. Um, so staff will continue to work with the interested parties, primarily the Kids uh, Fishing Charitable Trust, to, to keep them updated on the progress uh, regarding permissions and control processes and things like that. So we certainly appreciate staff um, for the amount of time and effort that they're putting in to uh, helping uh, control this um, issue. Um, slide three here, thank you Matt. Um, Jeffrey's Reserve Water Tank, um, it's a replacement water tank in the Burnside Water Supply Zone. It's a 500 cubic metre um, tank that's going to be, be replacing a damaged 200 cubic metre uh, tank that was um, obviously damaged in the earthquakes. Um, submit a feedback on the draft concept for the location and design of the water tank resulted in further investigation of eight other options. Um, the result of this feedback, um, an alternative option um, has been developed and is currently up for consultation until um, May 14th. Um, there are, you can see the yellow poles that have been circled, um, they're about three times um, my height. Um, it's a reserve that um, has a well used recreation space, it's right beside a, a rugby field, um, there's a walking tracks around it, so it's a really highly used space. Um, signage has been placed in the park and um, with the poles erected it shows the height and the area of the proposed facility. Um, it's created a great deal of interest from the neighbours um, and other users of the park. Um, the worker from City Care who was installing the poles uh, received some strong opinions uh, from people at the time um, on what he was doing and, and what was happening there. Um, so that again just for, for your information. Um, slide 4 please. Um, the Community Service Awards 2018, um, it's a biannual um, award, there's been 11 nominations this year, pretty much what's on the, on the slide, um, we'll be considering those on the 14th, um, and it's a great way to acknowledge um, all the community volunteer work there. Um, one item that um, isn't on the slide there is just the feedback, um, but it's in the report, is the feedback from Culture Galore, 
um, certainly acknowledging the relationship that we have with uh, Hornby Horse or Rickerton um, and providing that uh, joint event with over six and a half thousand people attending. Um, you know, the huge amount of staff time uh, to um, to make that event happen and a large number of volunteers helping out on the day as well. Um, basically from the, that feedback, it demonstrates that this is a significant event, Culture Galore is a significant event for the city. Um, it's important for our communities and it brings together our diverse communities um, in Christchurch to celebrate and share their cultures. Um, Another point I would just like to raise is our, we have a bi-monthly community liaison meeting with usually 20 to 30 um, attendees uh, coming from a variety of community groups and organisations. I raised with one of them um, last year the mobile truck shops that are in Christchurch. Um, they go there in Brunwar, I see them in Linwood when I'm driving through. Um, and um, although they're not permitted to operate in Christchurch, um, the, the idea of calling council enforcement to try and chase a, a truck. Um, it's a very difficult process for, I think, council to um, try and regulate or enforce. Um, so hopefully more can be done um, at a government level. Um, obviously, Commerce Commission has had issues regarding um, the, um, the compliance around um, you know, the legalities of these uh, mobile truck shops. Um, so I was looking at other solutions at a community level and saw that um, Consumer New Zealand um, have a do not not stick. Let me go pass this off to my quiz buddy. Just acknowledge Mike and uh, Pauline, our winning quiz team uh, for the community pool fundraiser there this week. Kick bum. Um, so, um, community, uh, Consumer New Zealand. Um, with these do not knock stickers that have um, distributed over 400,000 throughout New Zealand um, over the past few years. They're also uh, pushing for changes to the Fair Trading Act um, to make it an offence to ignore the, um, the do not knock signs. Um, so after a discussion with our community development advisor, uh, Marianne Lomax, I approached Consumer New Zealand um, to ask if um, we could use that design um, and distribute it through our community liaison network. Um, a welcome to Brunwa information pack is being, development, uh, uh, being developed. Uh, we're taking a lead from other welcome packs um, that are available in the city. Um, the information um, that will be in those packs are you know, uh, local community groups, programs, activities, um, things like mothers groups or walking groups and that kind of thing. Also information uh, from organisations like uh, Citizens Advice uh, Bureau, Neighbourhood Support, Tenants Protection, um, etc. Um, and also include information regarding local schools, doctors and dentists and that type of thing. Uh, Mary Ann has uh, talked to the manager of the Otutahi Housing Trust and they're keen to have them um, give, um, give it out to new tenants um, in the council owned, owned social housing units and we're sure Housing New Zealand um, will be keen as well. Um, so these, these pamphlets um, also include just a little bit of um, um, c c consumer rights information, uh, which I think uh, um, many people won't be aware of. Uh, we're also going to just get the individual stickers printed up. You know, uh, many other people, particularly elderly, will be more informed regarding their rights. But particularly the the door-to-door -door sales people um, that can come to houses, um, the residents can feel quite intimidated by that process. Um, it really doesn't matter what your age, really. Um, when you get a knock on the door and you're not expecting it, you know who's going to be there. So, um, this distributing through our liaison uh, community group network, um, you know, through churches, um, we feel that it can at least um, maybe help some people um, deal with, um, you know, what can be quite an intrusion into their, you know, personal private lives on um, in their homes. Um, so, uh, that that will be. Um, looking to distribute that next month. Um, slide five. Um, we thought we might finish um, the presentation with a, a group of the month um, in the Pendleton Waimari Hewood uh, group uh, or, or boundary, um, but also just want to acknowledge um, that we share um, funding for um, Crime Watch uh, Christchurch Incorporated with Papua New Ennis. Uh, we're doing a joint funding thing, uh, or joint, joint funding for the operation costs uh, for this time. 
Um, I met with uh, it's Kevin Wild there and Gary Plaskett. They're both uh, Kevin's a uh, committee member and Gary's a, and they're both patrollers. Um, also, um, Lindsay Lloyd, who is the chair. Um, I met with them for about an hour, had a nice cup of tea, and we discussed a wide range of activities that they do. Um, they are a fantastic help to the uh, police that are here in Christchurch. They received a 95% um, kind of rating from the police superintendent. Um, they, as you can see there, they do the, the patrols are seven days a week, um, 10 hours a day. They have both an urban and a rural patrol. Um, and yeah, the, the amount of work that they do that's not just kind of um, you know, observe and report type of things um, is quite tremendous. So very, very happy to um, join with Papua New Guinness um, and um, fund the, the operating costs for that. Um, and I know that uh, some of the members from both community boards um, may be looking for doing a little bit of a ride along as well. Um, but apart from that, um, I'll take the report as read. Thank you very much. So that leaves time for some questions. Are there any questions for Aaron this morning? Take a confession because there's been quite a lot of online comment about it. Absolutely. That is definitely going ahead at the end of the year. Yes. Cool. Thanks, Aaron. As far as I know, I'm, uh, we're, we're certainly pushing from a board level to make sure that um, potential um, environmental considerations, you know, if, if there's a major storm event or you know, high rain, you know, it might affect the application of you know, the chemical treatments and things like that. So. You know, we're certainly doing what we can. Uh, the um, the option of mechanical removal um, was considered, but felt that it might actually just um, kind of cut some of the weed, and then you'd actually spring the debris, and then kind of that would seed further down the waterways and things like that. So it wasn't seen as um, the right solution for this. So thank you very much indeed for the um, presentation this morning and for your report and congratulations on your um, election to the Deputy Chair as well. Thank you very much. So um, do I have a mover to receive this Community Board report? Jamie, seconded Aaron, all those in favour, against, that's carried. Thank you very much.